So, I'm going to explain the homework because uh, a lot of you might have questions about it. So we have our Java class for the homework, which is very similar to the sockets we coded in class. Basically, they have the import section, some other uh, some other uh, name, my web server in this case, it's a public, uh, public uh, static void main method, which is what's run. First, I declare some variables here and put a little debug initializing socket. Now, here's where the meat of this happens. First, I'll open, I'll start listening, my program will start listening on port 9999 in my local computer. I create a new server socket and debug. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to start listening for connections and I will accept. If you connect to this port on my, my computer, I will accept it. I will create an input and an output stream, basically receiving what's coming from the client and the output stream will be sending stuff to the client. <clears throat> then uh, WP will be whatever line of information is being sent from the client. Now, because this is a web server, what's going to be coming from the client is going to be an HTTP request. So, what I will do, I'll just assume it's an HTTP request. I'm not going to verify this because this is a very simple server. So, what I will do is this will be the, the title, the HTTP request, the title of the web page that's coming will be here. The HTTP request has more than just the name of a web page. It has a, a little bit of a protocol and the name of the web page that I'm looking for in it. So, what I need is when the server requests a web page, I need to go to my file system, to the server's file system, look for that file. So, for example, index.html. If the, if the browser requests, the client requests index.html, I will need to a, look at that browser's request and then extract that the web page that this file is trying to get is index.html and then look at go to the file system get the html code and send it back to the browser so it displays it as a web page now your job is to code this function get page from the http request so from the http request which basically is a bunch of information including the name of the web page you need to code this get page that will extract just the name of the web page in question after that, you have to code this get HTML code, which will basically go to your file system, look for that web page, and if it's there, then just bring as a one big string all the HTML code of that web page and put it into HTML code. Once we have all the HTML code, I will just tell the browser with a little bit of protocol in between uh, uh, before it, I will tell the browser that this is HTTP 1.1, that the retrieval was okay, and then I'm just going to paste as a big, big string just the HTML of the page. Strings don't have to be small. Strings can be very, very big, like a whole web page or even more. Then I'm going to close the stream and close the input stream. This will serve one web page. Now, what happens is your server is always listening for many browsers to ask for web pages and, and sometimes many web pages to ask for further web pages or server uh, different segments of web pages. So part of your job is to do this process in a loop. Okay, so every HTTP request will be served. And then the other two uh, tasks for you will be to code this get page which will basically strip the page name from the big HTTP request and get HTML code which will strip uh, which will actually go get the the page that in question and return as one string return the HTML code in it so if this is working you will see something like this I'm just gonna make it run it says initializing socket and listening on port 9999 which are the two uh, debug debug statements that we have here and then we'll just go to say index.html with your homework you should have downloaded uh, a zip file 
this index page is there along with, with a lot of other information. And then if you go to about.html, about.html, you should see this about needy design. They're slightly different. Now this about us doesn't take you to the about page. Just these, these are dummy links. Don't worry about them. Okay? Just need to display the index and the about web page. As you will notice from our server, every one of these is an HTTP request. So for every page that loads, there's a lot of HTTP requests. For example, there's HTTP request here. The HTTP request is a GET request to bring a PNG, an image from our file system, right? So there's a lot of requests here. And that is basically your homework.